Little Chefs. I don't know about you, but it's a dreary rainy day here in San Francisco. And on days such as this, nothing gives me greater comfort than to curl up with a good book and a steaming hot cup of cocoa. Not Conan O'Brien, mind you. Although I wouldn't mind that. Let's be honest, that man is sexy. He is geek olicious. Okay. I mean, he's like, what, 6'4"? How often do you meet a guy that's taller than me? Doesn't happen. Not that I've met him. One day. Oh, what are we talking about? The loneliness distracted me. <laughs> oh yeah, hot chocolate. Today's society has bastardized hot chocolate. You get these dinky little packets that barely resemble the stuff. Kids, that's not what hot chocolate is supposed to taste like. The Europeans have got this stuff down. What they enjoy is something called sipping chocolate. Go ahead, say it with me. Sipping chocolate. Mmm, delicious. And today we're going to tackle two types. The first one will be a traditional sipping chocolate made from an actual chocolate bar. And the second will be a decadent white chocolate infused with cardamom and lavender. I have never made this before, so I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but it sounds yummy. Let's get to it, shall we? Begin by grating one ounce of bittersweet chocolate. Now, I am a huge fan of Scharfenberger 70%, so if you can get your hands on that, do it! And go ahead and combine one ounce of whole milk with one tablespoon of vanilla. Bring that to 140 degrees and dump in your chocolate. Add just a hint of cayenne pepper if you like the Mexican chocolate. For your whipped cream, take one third cup heavy cream, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and beat until soft peaks form. Then go ahead and combine it all together. For our white hot chocolate, we're going to start with a lavender simple syrup, which is two cups water, two cups sugar, and two tablespoons of lavender. Bring all that to a boil, cover, and let steep for 30 minutes off the heat, and then go ahead and strain it into a container. Next, we're going to take eight ounces of whole milk, one teaspoon of our lavender simple syrup, and one half teaspoon of cardamom. Go ahead and combine that with two ounces of white chocolate. Replace the vanilla and the whipped cream with the lavender simple syrup, and you've got yourself white hot chocolate. All right, little chefs, here's the moment of truth. Wow. It's super floral because of the lavender, but the combination of the lavender syrup and the white chocolate making incredibly sweet. There's almost a butteriness to it, and the cardamom gives it like this spicy aromatic aftertaste that I just cannot quite describe. Do not be afraid to experiment in the kitchen. Sometimes things go horrifically wrong, and then other times you get yourself a little taste of heaven in a cup. Well, little chefs, I'll see you later on this week, and until then, take care. I'm Conan O'Brien, mind you. Although I wouldn't mind that. And it's Sexy, sexy, sexy. He is geek olicious. Mm. Hey, when you can't have a man, Jack Little do.